Engineer Kipto. Today we are focusing on cost estimation, a crucial skill for engineers like yourself. Let's get started. First up, we have project scope and requirements. This is where we outline exactly what needs to be done and what resources we'll need. Understanding the project scope is like setting the boundaries for our journey. Imagine you are tasked with building a bridge. Before you even start planning, you need to thoroughly understand the project scope. This involves going through the project charter, understanding client needs, and identifying any constraints or limitations. Similarly, in a utility-scale solar project, we need to define the scope by considering factors like project size, location, and energy output requirements. Now, let's talk about resource identification. Resource identification is like creating a shopping list for your project. Resource identification is crucial. For example, in our bridge project, we would need to identify all the materials required, such as steel beams, concrete, cables, and the labor needed for construction. Similarly, in a utility-scale solar project, we would need to list our resources, like solar panels, inverters, mounting structures, and the necessary labor for installation. Next, let's explore different cost estimation techniques. Choosing the right technique can make all the difference. When estimating costs for a bridge project, we could use analogous estimating by comparing it to similar bridge projects completed in the past. Parametric estimating might involve calculating costs based on parameters like the length and complexity of the bridge. For a utility scale project, we could employ bottom-up estimating, breaking down costs for each component such as solar panels, inverters and labor to arrive at a comprehensive estimate. Now, let's discuss risk management. Anticipating and mitigating risks is essential for staying on track. In any project, there are risks that could impact costs. For example, in our bridge project, weather delays or unexpected soil conditions could increase construction costs. Similarly, in our utility solar project, we might face risks such as fluctuations in material costs or changes in government regulations. It's crucial to identify this risk early on and develop strategies to mitigate them. Moving on to cost monitoring and control. Keeping a close eye on costs ensures financial success. Once the project is underway, it's crucial to keep a close eye on costs. Let's say our bridge construction project is exceeding its budget. We might need to adjust spending in certain areas negotiate prices with sp suppliers, or find alternative solutions to stay on track. Now, let's talk about documentation and reporting. Transparency is key to building trust among stakeholders. Clear documentation is vital for keeping everyone informed about costs. In our bridge project, we would keep detailed records of invoices, receipts, and change orders. Regular reports would be shared with stakeholders to ensure transparency and accountability. Next, Let's emphasize the importance of stakeholder communication. Engaging stakeholders fosters collaboration and alignment. Effective communication with stakeholders is essential throughout the project life cycle. By keeping stakeholders informed and engaged, we can gather valuable insights, address concerns, and ensure alignment with project objectives. Regular updates, meetings, and feedback sessions facilitate collaboration and build trust among all parties involved. Lastly, let's discuss continuous improvement. Learning from past projects paves the way for future success. Even after the project is completed, there is always room for improvement. By analyzing what went well and what did not, we can refine our cost estimation processes for future projects, ensuring even greater success down the line. And there you have it, Crypto, a comprehensive overview of cost estimation and its key components. Keep these principles in mind as you embark on your engineering journey and you will be well equipped to tackle any project that comes your way. If you're hearing this message, you've listened to the entire episode and for that, we want to say a big thank you. And this is the Engineers Podcast is produced and edited by Onyango Okello and hosted by myself, Loret Newton. You can also listen to other episodes by searching for Handy C the Engineers Podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. 
We would love to get any feedback you may have to help us improve. You are welcome to send an email to themhandisi@gmail.com. And one final request, if you can, share this episode with one person whom you think would benefit from it. Thanks again and see you next time.